Metro Fan TV coming to you live from Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. After a thrilling win on Pride Night, we're here with Corey Deneen. Corey, lucky charm tonight, right? Tell us more about it. You know, there was a time in the match where I was upset. I thought the only highlight would be a totally terrible goal celebration and awkward high fives. But really, at halftime, I had three delicious things that were put in my lap. And these three delicious empanadas, they led to three delicious points. One for now, each Corey, goal! One for each goal. Now, Corey, tell us more about the delicious things you put in your mouth at halftime. Wow, what were they? wow, wow. These, these delicious empanadas <laughs> are available at, I believe, Section Reese's. 126. Yeah, yeah. Reese's. Everybody loves Reese's. Everybody go see the CEO. He exists. He's a real person. <laughs> Don't listen to the lies you see here on the internet. He's there. He's real. It's so of course, with the, uh, behind the power of the chief empanada officer's magical <laughs> formula, right? A big second half comeback tonight. And I think when we saw the substitution board go up and saw Kaku and Marissa, we were a bit skeptical. But two golosos from the uh, German midfielder, and we're back in the game at three points. Like, uh, did the substitutions pay off in your opinion? Like, take us like how absolutely, you yeah. I mean. I I said on Twitter, but like Bradley had a fire track, fire burst to lead the track, but you know, Riz's two verses, he came in and like, you know, he stole the freestyle, so it was all on him. Yeah, I mean, two amazing goals from him, especially the second one, just like that turn and just striking it is, that's what you want right there, like, just a huge impact. I was the same way, like, Kaku coming out, I think you gotta be worried, but man, it was great. What a great win at home, and uh, yeah, like, just like, awesome winner pride, awesome night. Great win for the boys. I certainly thought that at halftime, some worrying comments from Chris Armis, obviously, talking about how they wanted to sit back and absorb pressure. But something changed at halftime, right? They came out looking a bit more aggressive, and the substitutions changed the game, aced the game completely. So, where does this put Chris Armis in your standing? Like, is the game ma does he deserve a plot plaudits for the game management today? Well, I, I was terrified. I thought we would use him three subs like a little too early, especially how warm it was. But man, I mean, like, totally hit it out of the park. Uh, I think tonight, and we saw like the team played with energy in the second half, really just like took over the match, and I was really proud of the win. I hate to like like do it in coach speak, but really they controlled the game though um, in the second half, and I think a lot of it had to do with like how fast we made, made all the adjustments. And of course, exercising a lot of demons from the for other frustrating losses. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Putting a best back in the W column must feel really, really good tonight. Dude, right? What a what a terrible way to end last weekend, but like what a great way to start. Uh, you know, start this one for a lot of people. So, yeah, just an awesome night all around. And now, uh, boys. <laughs> now looking ahead to the New England fixture next week, uh, a, little bit, a little bit of a home stretch coming up for a midweek trip to DC. Um, does this is, uh, improve the outlook in your opinion? Like, how's it feel? Right? Definitely. I mean, this is the time of the year that I was I was looking forward to these three games in a row. I think a lot of fans were, um, especially after this hour taste last Sunday. Like flipping things back around. We have, I think, two awesome home games coming up, and especially going to, going to D.C. too, that's going to be uh, really exciting, even though they opened up whatever fucking trash pit they opened up tonight, so. Fuck uh, D.C. United, by the way. <laughs> now, I guess to close it out tonight, uh, obviously we owe a big W, and we owe a lot of thanks to Brees' Empanadas. So. Uh, Do you have anything to say to Mr. Brees? Just, I mean, just uh, all of the good graces to the CEO and everybody from Brees' Just like awesome product and like dollar bills, yeah, dollar bills. yeah, three for nine, go for it, best deal in the stadium. How much so. getting paid? <laughs> With precess, there is hope. Metro Fan TV signing out. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Cha -ching.